Okay. Hi. <laughs> so you just got off of this uh, A to B bike? Right. Uh, well, so let you get you in the frame. So uh, how did you think about it? Well, these are the first electric bikes that I've ridden. I've yeah. usually, uh, I've got a couple dirt bikes, motor, you know, gas powered, uh -huh. that uh, I've ridden. The first of the bikes that I rode, the this is one of the smaller uh, powered ones. It's an unusual feeling to just kind of roll it on and no noise. Uh -huh. the, that particular bike felt kind of flexible. I mean, flexy, the frame on it wasn't real uh, encouraging. The second okay. one I rode, uh, definitely a better feel to it, you know, more stable riding it around. Okay. There's one now. So that second one was this one right here, right? No. Well, it's the one that has the batteries built into the front hub. Cool. <laughs> which oh, is an unusual oh, 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 oh. concept. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, so it's yeah. this one right here. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that one's yeah. interesting. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah. Okay. But so is it two wheel? Two wheel drive? All right. Check out a couple more. Doesn't sure. Work, right? For comparison. Okay. Okay. But you found it a good experience, or? Yeah. Yeah. Something a little bit different. Uh, uh huh. For my personal needs, I need something that's going to do at least 40 miles an hour in order to get out of my neighborhood and to any place else, because that's what oh. the speed limits are. Yeah, but and that's not a bicycle then. Right. So yeah. I need a motorized motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. So you've ridden a couple of the bikes, mm -hmm. and what do you think about it? Um, it's actually uh, pretty interesting. You know, you get this uh, pedal boost. Um, I haven't actually really tried electric bikes before as a bicycle. I've got an electric scooter, so the pedaling at the same time is a new uh, experience for me. Um, there's a lot of variations here. Uh, I think the most interesting one uh, is the European version that requires some pedaling input before it kicks in the electric motor. Yeah. Very different feel than the, you know, the throttle control. So, uh, he's got a lot of different things to, to look at and choose from here. Yeah. So what do you like about the idea of uh, a motor on a bicycle? Well, uh, some of the best things I've heard is that, you know, as you're going along, you're going to get some exercise too. Yeah. You know, power boost if you want, you know, want to get up the hills and get a little more speed. But here you're going to also pedal a little too, so that's going to help you uh, lose some weight and get in shape. Something like that. Yeah. But uh, the, the other great thing about bicycles is they're so efficient to start with that you can get a lot more performance out of a smaller motor and a smaller battery pack, which keeps your cost down. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so obviously you're an experienced bicycle rider. Uh, I've been riding for several years. Yeah. I have a lightweight bike. And, uh, yeah. But if you were to keep. Okay. I bought it mainly, or I ride mainly for the exercise. Yeah, you do. You so I never yeah. really thought of getting something that uh, self-driven, so to speak. Yeah. So this is your first experience on an electric bicycle. It is. Yeah. And, uh, I've been sort of looking or considering because uh, I do use my bike for just routine stuff rather than just pleasure riding. So this would be. You know, if I need a utility bike, this yeah, well, might be the way to go. Yeah. Plus, I don't ride hills, and I guess it's for that. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. But I, I, I like it. Uh, the cessation is really uh, it's a pretty good, trans easy transition, I guess, uh, once you get used to it. Can you get right. the most expensive one? So, uh, I think I'll, I'll probably be looking more into uh, electric bike as an alternate means of transportation. Oh. So, what do you find attractive about this? Which one's that? Uh, well, like I said, it, if I need to, uh, if I get tired of pedaling, obviously, and need to no, climb I think it's the front like hub motor, this be, and this is uh, a nice way to go about oh, that's, getting from yeah, that's point A to point B. Yeah. Uh, oh, this, this is, yeah. But when I just so go uh, out for exercise, exercise I still have to pedal, and this is kind of heavy for uh, that type of exercise, but uh, I, I guess I get used to it. <laughs> uh huh. It's hard to get used to the weight though, it is quite heavy, but the whole idea is, is it's not a lightweight bike. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. right. Any other questions? Um, you've only tried this one here? So far, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. So they're, they, they do have separate, several kinds here, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So you've ridden several of these bicycles now, right? Yes, I have. Almost all of them. Okay. And so what do you think so far? Well, I love them. I love them. Some are quicker than others and more agile than others, but uh, yeah, they're fun to ride. Yeah. And have you had experience with this kind of vehicle before or...? Uh, not um, not electric push bikes, I haven't. I haven't ridden one before. The, um, 
It's a, I, I drive an electric pickup truck normally. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Not a push bike. It's fun. Okay. Yeah. Um, so. Okay. So let's see. You said you like this. Oh, okay. So what do you think about specific about different des design styles that you saw? Okay. Um, I've always ridden mountain bikes, so the design style of the one with the large large hubs with the battery in the front wheel. Uh -huh. I think that one's the one that probably appeals the most for that reason. Yeah. Um, and it's, it seems to be the most powerful. And what um, what was also interesting is the one with the pedal assist. The um, the dynamics of riding that were really interesting, and uh, I think it makes a lot of sense, even though you don't have absolute control of the throttle. Right.